Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing to you a grocery haul that I only do once in a while. Every couple of months I like to visit multiple stores and do a big kitchen restock. I get things that we use frequently and that we like and use a lot of and I also look for some new things to try and sometimes I also pick up some convenience items or some treats and snacks and this is possible because I do so many pantry challenges and so much budget cooking that my grocery budget kind of builds back up over the course of a couple of months and then I'm able to go out out and do a fun haul like this. So I hope you guys enjoy and that I give you some ideas as you go out and do uh, your shopping this weekend or this week. Okay, so here is my Sam's haul. Not pictured is one big case of water, which I left in the garage. I got that for ball practices and tournaments and for swim meets for the ice chest because we're traveling to some of those things now. And I try to be careful when I go into Sam's. That's why I only go like once every three months. I probably only go three or four times a year, but we did need toilet paper and trash bags, which are two things that I buy there. And we've also been out of tissues for a while. I typically get puffs or Kleenex on sale, like at CVS or something, but I went ahead and went for this package. I think it is, yeah, 12 boxes, 160 count boxes. And I think it was right, like right around $11, which I thought was pretty decent, but I don't know because I haven't tried this brand, but we'll use them because I bought them. And then I saw these chips whenever I was coming in. It's a big bag. I mean, a big bag of chips. This is 20 ounces. So one pound and four ounces. And it's a on the border jalapeno ranch. And so I thought we'll use those. We eat a lot of tortilla chips. And then we have tried these before in the smaller bag. And this big bag was about the same price as the small bag. This is their attempt at a Dots pretzel, I think. And it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. Then I was walking by these and this is probably the most impulsy buy that I got at Sam's. I don't know. I just thought it sounded good. It's a Nature Valley crunchy granola snack mix, oats and peanut butter. So I don't know. I just thought that sounded really good. There's 24 packages in here. So I can throw that into the snack bin. That'll be a good like heading out the door type snack. A big box of mac and cheese. This ought to get us through the summer. And then I also got Ruthie a little swim shirt for swimming in the pool. Not for like swim practice because that's indoors, but for just swimming outside in the pool. She definitely needs to be wearing that as does my son but they didn't have any his size so that was my little sam's haul i think i did pretty good not getting too many impulsive buys and here was my aldi haul lots of favorites lots of standards for us and then a few new things i got a pineapple which definitely will need to be sliced up pretty soon because it's on the riper side a cantaloupe grapes. Those were a great price. Peppers are also a great price and we're going through them really pretty quickly. Two bottles of Winking Owl Pinot Grigio. That's my favorite kind there in their house brand. I did get some squash and some zucchini. I had to look through the zucchinis, you guys. Some of them were already molding, so I usually don't have that problem at Aldi, but I was careful this time picking them out. And I actually picked up bananas there because they looked pretty good. Normally they're so green that I, I don't get them, but they had some that were a little riper, so I picked up some bananas there as well. Two boxes of graham crackers. I have really Really, really liked these lemon shortbread cookies and they're great in like pudding or some yogurt or some vanilla ice cream or something. So I got a few of those. The kids really like these these Triscuit coffee cat cr crackers and they've been a good price. They've only been $1.25 a box. So I picked up some of those. Foil, some tortillas. The boy has been bugging me for, for tortillas for a while. Just some granola bars to throw in the snack bucket. Again, one of those heading out the door. Somebody needs some quick energy, quick sugar for a practice or something like that. Noah wafers. Ruthie really likes these. Some queso and salsa. This is just some inexpensive dressing that I'm going to use to marinate chicken because we're going to grill chicken tomorrow night. Some olive oil, which I meant to get at Sam's, a big container of it, but I, I forgot. So I just got a little container to tie this over. Some Hawaiian sweet rolls. These are a really good price at Aldi. I think they're like $1.39 or something at my Aldi and they make really great sliders. And then I splurged on this sourdough loaf. I think it was about $2. I will um, probably put it in the freezer and just take it out a few pieces at a time. But I don't know, this just sounded really good for sandwiches. So I went ahead and picked that up instead of just the standard bread. Suddenly salad, copycat from Aldi. I have seen these the last couple times I've been in. They are fun size versions of their candy bars. And this is their version of a Three Musketeers. And I may or may not have already tried one. And it's pretty close. I mean, I may not be the best judge because I don't, I, I would prefer Milky Way to Three Musketeers. So I haven't had one in a while. I don't think it was quite the same, but it was pretty close. And for 99 cents for an entire bag, We'll eat those. 
what can I say? Some peanut butter, restocking just some of my tomato products. I've got diced tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is the store brand of Rotel, which we use in a lot of recipes. Some black beans, some egg noodles, spaghetti, milk, yogurt tubes. The kids really like these, so I'm gonna restock our little fridge cubbies with those. Lots of cheese. I got mozzarella, extra sharp cheddar, Colby Jack, Monterey Jack, Parmesan cheese, like the rinds are a really good deal there. I think it's $3.49 for this eight ounce rind. So that's a good price for that. And I bought this pepperoni marinara for the snack board that I made um, last weekend. And you guys will have seen a video on that. And I was thinking to myself, this would be really good like on a pizza or in some pasta or maybe a toasted sandwich. So I got some more because I might use that to make something. And then this is a grass-fed cheese that I really like. This is more of a snacking cheese. This is not necessarily to like shred up and, and put in stuff. Butter, because we were out. Waffles. My younger daughter, McKenna, loves a peanut butter waffle before she goes to gymnastics. They were out of string cheese, so I just got cheese cubes for the kids to snack on. And then I bought some of this whenever I was going into Aldi for that snack board. My husband had asked me to pick up just some lunch meat for him for a salad or sandwiches. And I got this buffalo-style chicken breast, and it was really good, so I picked up some more of that for him. And then just some regular smoked turkey breast. This is not an Aldi brand. This is the Castlewood brand. Some pepperonis, turkey smoked sausage, a staple in our refrigerator and freezer. Some chicken breast, which we're going to grill tomorrow night. And I went ahead and got the frozen ones because the ones that come in the package that are a little cheaper per pound, they're so thick that you pretty much have to slice them again to be able just to cook them like on the grill or in the oven and I didn't want to go to the trouble. So I just got the frozen chicken breasts because they're a little thinner. Plain whole milk Greek yogurt. I love that they have that at Aldi. Whipped cream cheese, two pounds of grass-fed ground beef. And it was on special for like $4.85 a pound, which is really, really great. And then two bags of frozen broccoli florets and two bags of California medley. I don't get as many frozen veggies in the summer because a lot is in season. And because I could not fit it on the counter, I had to put them over here, but I did get four bags of pretzels, two of the pub style, so those are seasoned, and then two of just the regular. And that was my Aldi haul. There you have it. All right, you guys, it's the next day. I just got back from Walmart. I actually went this morning to my Walmart neighborhood market to buy things for a lunch video that I'm filming for you guys because you've been really digging those videos. And then I went back to Walmart uh, just now to kind of finish out my restock big grocery haul. So let me show you what I got. Okay, not a lot of produce, and I'm realizing now that I forgot one thing that I specifically went for, and that was corn on the cob. So I'll probably run back into Walmart later and grab some or have my husband pick some up because I want that for grilling tonight. We're gonna grill chicken tonight, so I definitely want some corn on the cob. Uh, two pound packages, so four pounds of strawberries. They were only $3 a container, so $6 for four pounds, pretty decent. Hearts of Romaine, this is just for salads, and I also got these things for salads, some cranberries and honey roasted almonds. This is a salad top that's with the salad dressings along with the bacon bits. I'm actually using those to make something for the kids this weekend too. And as you guys know, they put wine on clearance. They had a whole bunch of wine on clearance there. Mostly reds, but I picked up this white wine. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. I've never seen clearance wine before. I mean, I've only seen wine in the grocery store for a couple of years because we just got that a few years ago, but that was interesting. So this bottle of wine was $7, which is, you know, pretty good for like a not a house brand wine. Buttermilk powder. I use this to make my homemade ranch seasoning. And if you're wondering where this is, it's with the other powdered milks in the baking section. So you would need to look in the baking aisle. I was completely out. I'm also completely out of coffee and that could have been really, really bad. I used the last of it this morning. So I got the creme brulee and the mocha. I haven't tried this one before. I know all my coffee connoisseurs are probably gagging right now because you probably, you know, like grow your own beans and grind your own beans and everything else, <laughs> but I just drink coffee, just, you know, regular coffee to drink it in the morning. A can of pasta sauce, which I actually meant to grab this morning for that video, so I'll have to, you know, take some B-roll of this to show you guys for that lunch video. Jello and pudding for my husband. That was a request from him. And the Walmart discount bakery rack delivering you guys $1.13 for a dozen of these peanut butter cookies. Yummy. Two packages of the garden rotini. We've been doing a lot of pasta salads lately, so I picked some of this up. Some hot tamales, total impulse buy, along with 
with the cookies. Obviously, I was hungry at the grocery store. Who likes hot tamales? I really like them. I feel like people either love them or they hate them, but I like cinnamon candy. Some of these bug repellent wipes, I find these over in the camping section, and we really, really like these. I think it just, it's a lot more thorough than a spray because you're actually wiping it onto your skin. So I picked up some more of those. We're coming into bug season. My oldest daughter needed some more goggles, so I picked these up. They're specific about the kind that they want. Some of my favorite of the Great Value brand tortilla chips. These are the cantina style. And then one bag of the Doritos, the little bags. And this is a half and half. So it's half Cool Ranch, half nacho cheese. These are for walking tacos. I let the kids request their favorite dinners. So um, we're going to make walking tacos because that's Brick's favorite. And then over here on the other side, just restocking some pantry things. I had not seen diced green chilies in a long, long time. And I have recipes that call for these. And I don't know if there's a supply issue or what, but the little cans of diced cream cream ugh, diced green chilies i haven't been able to find them so when i saw them there today fully stocked i picked up three cans two cans of just plain old campbell's chicken noodle soup my son requested this for lunches and he is his mother's son <laughs> his mother's child i grew up eating this i mean my uncle used to tell me i was going to turn into a chicken noodle because i wanted it all the time all year round didn't matter if it was 100 degrees outside i wanted chicken noodle soup um green beans canned green beans just something i like to keep in the pantry ramen noodles same thing just a few packages and then i got two of the great value brand crescent rolls because the dinner that my younger daughter requested is something called chicken things which is like a chicken and cream cheese mixture that you put in in between two little crescent roll triangles and then you seal it up and bake them. So that's what she requested for dinner. Some salami. This is just to snack on and to have for sandwiches for everybody. This is actually a better deal at Walmart than it is at Aldi. More better because I probably really should have bought two of these packages yesterday at Aldi. Some cream cheese for the chicken things. I just wanted to have some frozen pizzas in the freezer. I don't know, it, especially with the kids home for the summer, sometimes having something quick we can throw in the oven for lunch or for a snack. And there was a coupon actually attached to the box for a dollar off of two. So it made these just $4 a piece. I can hardly make pizza for less than that. Most of the time I can't. Speaking of pizza, that's what my oldest daughter requested was homemade pizza with homemade pizza dough that we make in the bread maker. So we'll be making homemade pizzas as well. So we have three of the kids' favorite dinners we'll be making this weekend for them. Some cheese tortellini. I just always keep a bag of these in the freezer now because they're so versatile. You can do so many things with these and it's really, it really is a great value because it's less than $3 for a bag that's 19 ounces. So good deal. And we got some of these, I don't know, it's probably been well over a month, but they were really good. The Southern style chicken bites. These are sort of similar to like a Chick-fil-A chicken nugget. And the only thing is you got to make sure you cook these fully through. These are not fully cooked like other, other kinds of chicken nuggets that have to be cooked, but I cooked them in the air fryer. They were great. So I got some more for us. And then I needed another pound of ground beef for the walking tacos. And I also got just a big package of chicken breast. I'm just going to toss this into the crock pot with like salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, just like seasoned. I'm going to cook it and then just shred it up so we have it for various and sundry things. There you have it. There's my haul and there's a child standing there looking at the peanut butter cookies. <laughs> I almost forgot you guys the popsicles which I stuck in the freezer when we got home so that they would not melt. I actually had these Sonic slushed pops last year just in the cherry limeade flavor. They had this box that was three different flavors so cherry limeade, ocean water, and strawberry lemonade and I went ahead and picked those up because it's fun to try new kinds of popsicles. Sometimes we make them at home, sometimes we buy them. So I have just scanned my receipts into my Fetch Rewards app. And if you are not familiar with that, there is a link in the description box. My referral link is there. And I was kind of late to the party with Fetch Rewards. So you've probably already heard of it. You've probably already signed up for it, but I've been pretty pleased with it. It's a little bit easier to use than I bought it in my opinion, because they're not rebates for specific items. You just scan your receipts. You earn points that you can redeem for gift cards and that's that. But like I said, that link's in the description box if you're wondering what in the world I'm talking about or if you're one of those handful of people that hasn't already signed up. But I also was thinking, if you're new to my channel or even if you aren't, you might be wondering what in the world is going on. This lady does like a $4 dinner video and then a budget lunches video and then she does like a $300 massive grocery haul. And my answer for that is that this is just the pattern that we're in and what works for us. I do one of these big restock grocery hauls, get some stuff that we need, 
needs, some stuff that we want, maybe repurchase some favorite items or find some new fun things to try out. I do that about once every eight to 10 weeks. And then in the interim, I might do some medium size hauls and just restock, you know, like fruits and vegetables and perishable items. I do some budget dinner hauls. I do some specific, you know, themed video hauls if I want to make a specific video for my channel. And eventually I will start to do pantry challenges where I take a look at the things that we have hanging out and I challenge myself to use those things up. And doing those little challenges in the interim where I might spend very little, where I might cook from my pantry, that allows my grocery budget to build back up. So even though I had a big expense this month because I did my big stock up haul, next month I won't be doing that more than likely. And so I probably will be spending a lot less. And then that money kind of builds up in our grocery budget category and I can use it the next time I want to go out and do this kind of haul. So I don't know, it may not make sense to some people, but it does for us. It's just what works for us. So that's why I do this.